Apmarca vagyok, a Liszt Média munkatársa. Szeretettel köszöntjük angol nyelvi lektorunkat a stúdiónkban. Please introduce yourself. Um, my name is Leon Shabok Robert. And my name is uh, Pop Marcel. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, where did you come from and why did you choose Hungary? Uh, I come from London, England. Um, I chose Hungary because I believe it's a lot safer than London for raising children. Um, and plus my wife is from Fasha Hay. And I really enjoyed the country from the first time I came here. And we ended up getting married here six years ago. What did you want to be when you were a child? Oh, I wanted to be many things as a kid. Um, first, I wanted to be a policeman. But my main one is that I wanted to be a fireman. Uh, but I didn't become a fireman because I found out I'm scared of heights. So if I go up high, I, I freeze. So yeah, that didn't happen for me. What did, what did you enjoy doing in your free time? of drawing, a lot of drawing. I love art, uh, playing sport. The main sport is football. Um, so that's what I really got, in, uh, got into. What style of music do you like listening to and what kind of movies do you like watching? Uh, I love R&B. Um, I know it's not very popular here. Um, Hip hop are my main two go to music and now since I've been here I'm getting into dance you know dance type of music I find very interesting movies action all action movies my favorite actor is Denzel Washington which most people have not heard of and Bruce Bruce Willis yeah I love I love them too <clears throat> do you like reading if so what kind of books do you like um Growing up, I'm not going to lie, I've never been a fan of reading. But if I had to read, uh, I would choose um, fiction. Um, I love the, you know, the Marvel Universe, um, DC comics. I read a lot of them and plus I used to draw the pictures as well. What are the achievements in your life that you look back on with pride? Oh, my achievements on my life um, uh, it's quite hard actually uh, my main achievement that I've most recently I would say is the lecturing you know helping young people become better in speaking English um, my football was a bit of a disappointment because obviously I wanted to play for Arsenal and England that didn't happen So, I would say my main one right now is obviously getting married, becoming a, f making a family. Um, yeah, I would say that it's my biggest achievement. What else do you want to achieve in your life? Oh, what else? I would like to become a football coach here. Um, I'm a qualified football coach, but I have to learn the language for that to progress. Um, I believe I could help the town and not only that, maybe go on to manage the national team, which would be a great achievement for me. Are there things you would like to try? Mm. See, for a long time, I did want to try um, skydiving. You know, when you jump out of a plane, but then obviously me with heights, mm. yeah, I've got a problem with that. So that's never going to happen. Um, I will maybe a cruise, you know, go on a, a big ship and cruise around the Caribbean. It's a place I would like to see all the islands. I've only seen one where my family's from. So, yeah, I would say that. What do you consider your greatest strength? My greatest strength? I would say mm, my greatest strength would be my determination. Um, very rarely I let things get me down. I try to find a way 
to push forward. I don't believe in the word can't. I've had that from a young age. I believe that you can do anything that you you want to do, you know, you put your mind to it, you can do it, you can achieve it. And that's one thing I don't only do with my own kids. I try to do it with um, young young people that I teach or help. Um, did that with my coaching as well. So yeah, the can-do attitude. Do you, do you have a role model? If so, what are your strengths you consider most important? Or well, role model? I wouldn't say a role model now, but as a youngster, I had, it was mostly sport um, personality. Um, there was a famous footballer. His name's Ian Wright. He was my first role model. I uh, Obviously, because of the football, I wanted to be like him. And there was a boxer called Frank Bruno. He was a heavyweight boxer. He was from the same place that I'm, I'm born and raised, Lambeth. So that was another reason why I kind of, and plus I did want to get into boxing at the time, but my mum wouldn't have it. She wouldn't let me. I try to tell people to, you know, not just people, I mean young, especially young students and stuff like that, um, encouragement. You know, I believe with me, encouragement went a long way when you hear people telling you, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, or you shouldn't do this. It, it builds a negative mindset and I try to build a strong mindset because with a strong mindset you can do anything that you want to do you know um, and think outside of the box is a famous English term which is true you know use your imagination don't rely on technology it's not it can't do everything <laughs> <laughs> do you like being in our school oh more than like being in your school I love being in your school I find it a um, very warming and welcoming place from day one. Uh, the kids are amazing. The staff are great. They make me feel like I'm at home. What do you like to do in our school? What do I like to do? Um, teach. I'll, I would love to do a bit of sport with you, you know. Um, maybe create a football team. Mix boys and girls. You know, don't want to leave anyone out. That would be cool. And that's the end of our podcast. That was all the questions. Um, any last thoughts? Um, again, I'd just like to say thank you for this opportunity. Um, it's been amazing. Um, I'm sorry if I'm a bit nervous. I've never done anything like this before, but uh, I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Kövessenek be további érdekes tartalmakért a Youtube-onkon, a TikTokon, a Facebookon és az Instagramon is. További szép napot! And goodbye to you too. And goodbye to you too, sir.